In 30 days from getting into my apartment and not having a job and not being able to pay rent and eating through my savings, I came up with that idea. And I started showing it around to friends. The second friend that I showed it to had his best friend. He was like, you gotta meet my best friend. He's gonna love it. That guy ended up being Tony Shea, who I'd never met before, CEO of Zappos. He fell in love with it. They loved my passion. They invested in it. 60 days later, we were building a company. 90 days later, we announced a festival. A year later, we did our first event. Based in Las Vegas, Nevada, the Downtown Project is a $350 million initiative turning a city into a startup, creating a thriving entrepreneurial ecosystem in the heart of downtown Las Vegas. Entrepreneur Tony Shea led the launch of the Downtown Project in 2012 with a five-year plan that included acquiring and developing land, investing in tech companies and small businesses, and getting to cash flow positive by the end of year five. Since launching, the Downtown Project has acquired more than 60 acres of land, invested in over 300 businesses, and has created jobs for more than 800 people. Downtown Project is about helping make Downtown Vegas a place of inspiration, uh, entrepreneurial uh, energy, creativity, innovation, upward mobility, all that good stuff, and uh, hopefully help accelerate the, uh, the whole process. What grinds on me the most right now is email. That's actually probably half my day is just answering emails, which I'm trying to figure out a way to get out of, but it works not. What I'm really just trying to do is play the card of, look, like, we just need some love from the guy. Most days we're a festival that is in its second year and trying to create a sustainable business. But on other days, we're very much the communications vehicle for this massive um, investment effort um, because that's the mainstream awareness that's coming through us, uh, in addition to all of the other resources that exist within DTP. Largely, for the past two years, we've been focusing the vast majority of our energy around curating the right team and having the right group of people because one seed of discomfort and security kind of manifesting itself could derail the process. So the grind has been building a foundation and the fortunate thing for us is as a company under Downtown Project, the Downtown Project has set the tone for that. So most of the people that come talk to us have already heard of the Downtown Project in some capacity and have already decided that they want to opt into this kind of environment. So what it does is it allows us to almost pick our talent from a pool of people who are already consciously aware and consciously enthusiastic about what the data is like, even whether they know what it's actually like or not. Um, so there's a good filter process. Probably for my first year and six months, the grind was 10 hours a day, seven days a week, here on the line, cooking in the kitchen, making sure, you're perfecting the recipes, um, training the staff, setting the standards of the restaurant, and just like every single day, living, sleeping, breathing, eat. The grind today is try to be vigilant and make sure the standards and the consistency and the staff is happy. And that's a that's a day-to-day -day maintenance. That's not something that you just uh, walk away from and you know hope and pray that it's gonna be good. It's something that I need to take care of or I need to train other people to take care of it. We're gonna be in the weeds, like running around making things happen. And so it might be good to have another set of eyes somewhere else, helping us just for that window, and she could be on but she's the She's going to be like eight hours ahead of us. But she can stay up on her time zone to make it happen. Right. The thing that grinds on me the most is just being on 24-7, right? Like we're, we're all now connected all the time, and so there is no downtime in a startup, and so we're working around the clock all weekend, and I think staying on top of everything. Like we have multiple teams around the country that are working on different time zones. Um, we've got different departments, so we've got the editorial piece, and we've got the operations piece that's doing events with us all over the place, and then we also have the business development piece, and so trying to continue to keep things going while also traveling uh, to do certain components um, is, is right now the daily grind.